The bounding box scale tool in Bonus Tools is a very useful tool for scaling things to very specific unit sizes. So, for instance, I've got these two trash cans here that are actually quite large in my scene. If I were to look at these from the front point of view and turn on my grid, you can see that relative to my, my grid here, I've basically got a couple of objects that are essentially, if we actually move this window out of the way, they're something somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 units high. But these are actually scaled at the value of 1. So if I needed these to be specifically 10 units high, then it's a little bit tricky to go in here and actually kind of manually scale that so that it's exactly 10 units high. So what I can do is, under Bonus Tools, I can use the Modify Bounding Box Scale tool. And what this will allow me to do is scale relative to the bounding box. So the first thing I do is I set my pivot to scale as the relative scale point. So I'll set the pivot to be the, the base Y of this object. And now I want to begin to scale this. So I will start by scaling the actual height to be exactly 10 units high. So now when you look over here, it's going to be exactly at the 10 unit mark. The problem with that, if I frame in, whoops, didn't mean to scale there. If I frame in, is that it is indeed 10 units high, but now the rest of it is too, wit, too wide, essentially. So now I just need to correspondingly say it, scale these to be something in the neighborhood of 5 by 5, or I could make it 6 by 6, or whatever specific uh, bounding box size I need. So now I have a trash can that fits with exactly within the, the boundary of 6 by 6 by 10, 10 inches high. So now if I wanted to apply that to this other object, I'd simply do the same thing. I simply come in here and I say I want to make this 6 by 6. That will set the width, and then I want to make this 10 units high, and that'll set the height. And sure enough, if I pull into these objects a bit, if you'll look at the unit sizes, these are these are, both objects are exactly 10 units high. So this can be applied to any other object. So say, for instance, I bring in something completely different from this, like this light post, which is actually gigantic. I can go in here and I can do basically the same thing. I can actually, let's actually rotate that around so I can see it. Let's actually set that rotation to be right about there. And now I'll just go in and I'll do the same thing. I'll set this to be 5 by 10 by 5. And now I had what was a giant object that is fitting into the exact same space based on its bounding box. And you can see that it's using a bounding box based on uh, kind of an irregular shape. Now if I wanted to increase the height, I'll just do say I want to fit that within 12 units and it'll it'll calibrate that accordingly. So this is something that you can't really do with just standard Maya transforms.